All right, everyone, we start off today talking about Cynthia Johnson, the Detroit uh, representative in the state house there in Michigan, making criminal threats against Trump supporters, getting removed, by the way, from committee uh, as a result of this. Uh, but first, now, there are links in the description. Uh, I make videos on other sites for those of you who are using YouTube. They've made it clear that talking about politics is now, you know, at the very least, you'll be suppressed by 80 percent. And that's their figure, not mine. Uh, if you're talking about current events and at worst, they'll just, you know, purge you from the site for wrong think. Uh, so you should join me on Daily Motion, BitChute, Rumble, uh, and or Odyssey, one or more of those. Uh, I'll also pin a comment. And of course, because I'm shadow banned on YouTube, if you still prefer to use this as a platform, that's where you're watching me on, which is a decreasing uh, total of my audience, I believe, at this time, uh, then please share this link out, uh, because otherwise people can't find it. I'm being, people are being unsubscribed from the channel by the hundreds literally every day to the point where it's dead in the waters. I hate having to make these announcements because it wastes my fucking time and yours, but I've got no choice. Anyway, link in the description, you can take a look for yourself at, uh, apparently she was on, ironically enough, it was a Facebook stream, but I believe it also got promulgated to Rumble, if I remember correctly. Somebody was claiming that, so uh, you'll excuse me if I'm not sure because I'm fairly new on Rumble. And I don't know how to split streams, other than if you're doing it Facebook and YouTube, because actually you can do that with StreamYard, which is a great program. Uh, but pretty soon I will probably be doing live streams on BitChute, and I think Rumble has announced that they're going to be branching out into it too, so uh, maybe I'll do something with that. I'll figure it out somehow. Uh, but anyway... Uh, Take a look at what she's saying here. It's like basically, oh, Trump fans, you better tread lightly. And soldiers, you know how to do your job and do it good. Now, if, if I were to say the things that she's saying, and I put a YouTube video up, and I'm, I'm saying this about uh, the Beijing Biden fans or, or people who don't like ice cream or something, I'd be banned. I'd probably be investigated by the FBI. Her getting removed from committees is not enough. She should be kicked out of the legislature of Michigan. They should hold a vote and they should kick her aside. Um, this sort of behavior <laughs> at a time from a party that is led by a man who, who claims, you know, honk honk, by the way, he totally got elected. Uh, he claims that he wants unity and basically for everyone to hug it out. That's what Biden has been preaching. For his party to contain so many goddamn fanatics who are constantly fomenting violence against other people while at the same time claiming the far right is violent, which is something that's largely absent. I literally see it every day in reporting on what goes on just in Portland, to the point where it's so violent, fucking Ted Wheeler finally got his small balls just big enough to be able to send the gendarmes in. Uh, not that it did any good, I guess Antifa uh, pushed him back and actually expanded its barricades. Doesn't, uh, doesn't surprise me in the least. With Ted Wheeler, mm, yeah, I can believe it. He's about the most inept bungler in the entirety of U.S. state politics. Celebratory clank, by the way, for 20,000 Odyssey subscribers as of today. And, uh, and 112,000 actually on BitChute. Gained 1,000 in a single day. <laughs> but remember, uh, it's because my material is bad that my channel is stalled out on YouTube. Honk, honk. Uh, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to do, do political reporting, but I'll say the opposite of what I actually believe, and then I'll just wink at people. I guess that's the only way to do it these days, because YouTube has become topsy-turvy land, where reality is false and falsehood is real. Uh, and, and so you're supposed to report what's wrong. You're supposed to be like the MSM that they favor so much. You're supposed to lie to people. I never knew. I thought political commentary, you were supposed to be accurate. I guess I've been wrong this whole time. If you want to succeed, you got to tell people a, a shit ton of lies. Just make sure to do it with a straight face or with a clown nose on. Now, this is insane. Uh, and this isn't the first time it's happened. It's funny because, again, the left is always talking about, oh, the right wing is violent and stuff, and yet whenever we see statements which could be con at least construed as terroristic threats or something akin to it, it seems to come from left wing politicians. And it's not like the main line neoliberals. They're so bored and tired, they don't give a shit. They just want more of your money and they'll leave you alone otherwise. Uh, except with mask mandates, as we'll talk about later today. Um, but it's always from the left. It's like the AOC, Elon Omar crowd, and they make, like, snarky comments on Twitter, and they think that that's a re-election bid, by the way. <laughs> it's been, while funneling enormous amounts of money into their relatives' and friends' uh, private firms. Remember when Michelle Obama's uh, friend or cousin or something was running the ACA rollout website that failed so hard? And people, you know, they, they cocked an eyebrow at it. They're like, oh, well, it's a little discomforting at least. 
it looks like a little bit of cronyism. Uh, and, and of course it was, and then, you know, you look at Elon Omar's $2.8 million dump into Tim Minette's company, E Street, uh, Limited, or whatever the hell it's called, and it's in, rather interesting. It always seems that the, the grifters that are stealing money from the poor, and the ones making violent threats, and the ones that get exposed as, like, you know, behind closed doors are doing, like, totally weird corrupt shit, like... 75-80% of the time, it's from a very small group of far-left politicians at the state and national level. you got to understand, in most areas of the country, it's not so hyper-partisan. You're looking at big cities and really rural districts, and that's basically it. Most, most of the districts in the country at this time, at the very least, they have a town in them, and they're not like one-horse villages, like a couple sporadic spots in Wyoming or rural Alaska or something. Those, those are a rarity because the population is increasing and highly urban districts, those ones build up instead of out, and so you get like these sprawling suburb, sort of uh, middle density zones, and they tend to be like swing areas. Small, t small town America is definitely going more red and the suburbs are going more blue these days, but they're still, they're in play. In those areas, you tend not to get this sort of stuff. You don't get the insane evangelical candidate, they don't get any traction, you don't get the, the hyper-partisan, hyper, -partisan, hyper far leftist like Cynthia Johnson is, you get it from places like Detroit. It's a big problem. Um, <laughs> thankfully, they were a small minority of the political establishment, but it always seems that relatively small group of urban politicians who have to at least pretend to be very far left fiscally to get elected usually, AOC does this too, um, they're the ones that always cause the biggest trouble and say weird shit. Many of them aren't qualified to be dog catcher. What are this woman's qualifications, by the way? Apparently making thinly veiled threats online and not getting banned for it. So it's very interesting. It's also interesting to see the double standard with how a state legislator like her would be treated as opposed to virtually anyone else on Zuckerberg's platform, which, by the way, is getting sued right now by 48 states for antitrust. I don't even care about that. I say let the Silicon Valley firms be monopolies so long as they're acting as platforms and not publishers. Fine by me. Who cares? That's about all. Peace out.